I recently moved into a new environment for recording, but the acoustics in this room are not very good right now. To cut down on echoes and create cleaner audio, in this video I'll be building a microphone isolation box, like the one I'm using right now. The primary components for this project are a large bin, a twin-size memory foam mattress pad, and a microphone stand, which is an optional part depending on if you'd like the box to be freestanding or simply set on a tabletop. I'll first remove the top fittings from the microphone stand and using the diameter of the shaft as a guide, drill a hole through one side of the bin. On the other side, another hole is made, but this one only large enough for the bolt that the fittings threaded onto. When placed over the stand, the top hole now supports the bin. For now, the bin is briefly removed to measure and cut the first section of foam lining, a long rectangular piece that will wrap around and cover all three vertical walls. Any number of adhesives could support the foam, and here I'll be using double-sided tape, paying extra attention to use enough in the corners. To line the bottom of the chamber, I simply took a strip of foam of an approximate width and cut a short slice in the center to fit around the stand. Once in place, the excess can be trimmed away, and there's no need for tape here since gravity alone does the job. The top piece is made in the same way, with the exception of added adhesive. The method used to mount the microphone is going to vary depending on the type but whatever is done, it's a good idea to keep it adjustable. Now you might be confused as to how this box does any good, considering that the microphone faces the open side. The purpose is not to change what sound waves hit the microphone directly, but to absorb the sound that has already been recorded before it has a chance to bounce around the room and return as an echo. Additionally, when recording voiceovers, the user's body is in front of the opening, which even further isolates the microphone. You may remember the YouTube channel Cottage Life that has been a sponsor for a number of my past projects. The main reason I really like their channel is for the how-to videos that they themselves put together. Cottage Life has just started selling some pretty cool stuff through their web store, shop.cottagelife.com. I've got a bunch of their t-shirts now and they also have sweatshirts and hoodies for cold weather. I may be picking up some of their coffee mugs shortly as my selection is looking a little plain. A link to shop at Cottage Life will be in the video description below, and if you haven't checked out their videos yet, be sure to stop by and subscribe to their channel. It's one of my favorites. Thanks for following my own videos. If you'd like to see more, you can check out my channel, Nighthawk in Light. As always, your comments and shares on this video are greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.